I think I got a thirst for social justice that directed my entire life. You know, uh, when I was in second grade, a teacher who was not a nun, a lay teacher, taught us that the commandment where it says you don't steal does not apply if you're poor and you steal food. That she said a poor person has the right to food. Now as an adult, I find that incredible that that woman trusted seven-year-olds with that level of moral thinking. And as seven-year-olds, we understood it. But by the time we got to high school, we were doing active social justice work, you know, protesting, etc. You know, I had my first protest at 14. And then I taught in public school in Illinois uh, in special education because of the, uh, the children were so poor they didn't have special education teachers. So I was delighted to do that for a while. And then I came back to the East Coast and I was the administrator, teacher and administrator, in a school for emotionally disturbed children ages 8 to 18 who were removed from their home either by the state or by the police. So I did that for 10 years and then following that I went on the road, so to speak, for peace and nonviolence because I was trying to prevent happening to other children what had happened to my children that I was teaching then because the violence uh, affects the children more than anyone else. So I d went around the world teaching peace and nonviolence, primarily in places of conflict. So I was in North Ireland uh, during the troubles there. I was in Bosnia-Herzegovina, Croatia, during the Bosnian War. And uh, I also went to uh, Japan, uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. I also went to Vietnam, was in Australia, Canada, of course, and then all over the United States giving thousands of workshops and talks. In 2005, I was elected to leadership. I finished that in June and then began teaching this September at Our Lady of Mount Carmel here in Waterbury. The children are, are beautiful and uh, they, their strength and their hope and their uh, willingness to get up every day and keep trying is what gives me the hope and, and, and also the, the power of God. I mean, I can't teach unless I have um, a passionate love uh, for God. It's not what I can do. It's what God does in me. And it's mostly His love. It, not mostly. It is His love.